glass blowing, it's done the same way for you know, over a thousand years. I mean, nothing's really changed. The only thing that's changed is the burner systems on the furnace, you know, they're more updated. But the tools and everything, it's all done the same way. So I kind of like that. The original glass is, it's silica. I mean, it's a mix of silica, but we buy our glass pre-formulated clear chunks. So it starts out, we throw it in the furnace and it melts down. And every piece of glass, once you have that glass formulated in the furnace and molten, every piece starts the same way. You know, you gather out. Um, and you said it has sort of has the consistency. Of honey, yeah. So if you, if you dip a, you know, a honeycomb in a box of honey and kind of lift it out and it kind of trails off, that's what the consistency of glass is like. You know, glass cools quickly once you touch touch it to tools or the table you're constantly reheating it so I mean you can every piece of glass from uh, the smallest bowl to you know the biggest you know base that you can think of always starts the exact same way you start really small with your initial gathers your colors every every piece starts exactly the same way and then once you get to that that point where your bubbles to where where you want it then you start shaping it into a shape and we use gravity um, centrifugal force and heat to dictate what shape you want you know you can hang it down and it'll stretch or you can spin it real fast and it'll widen out and a lot of tools, you know, paper marble that dictates how you shape the glass. But everything starts out exactly the same.